Yo, what's up guys? It's Yellowfin, and in this video, I am going to be beating the Italian impa pas Im word i would never seen before challenge. And because I'm going to be recording this challenge because it's actually got a carbon fiber at the end of it, so why not? Let's play it and see how easy it is. I haven't even checked the rounds yet, so hopefully it's not impossible. Alright, it does not look impossible, so we should be pretty good at beating this challenge i've got a pretty solid italian garage in my opinion it's not great but it's not bad it's definitely not a bad garage so 800 cash right there these first few rounds are definitely going to be very easy i have a feeling so we will just breeze right on through them hopefully so this will be round two done i believe i just want to make sure i win that test bowl 90 points there against the 159 sports wagon but let's see if we win this. Yep, we do beat the 147. All right, cool. Skip 32820, round three now. That'll be a win. That'll be a win. That'll be a win. That should be a win, and that should be a win. So all of these should be wins, but I would like to actually check on the rain ones. Or nah, I don't need to check. We're fine. Yep, 250 to zero. All right. And round four now. I've got good confidence in my Italian cars. Okay, round four, they did get a bit more difficult on us. I feel like we should keep on trying to use all Italian cars, though. I feel like that would be pretty cool if we could beat it using all Italians. Add a bit more extra fun challenge to it. So we'll grab those three. Then I'm not sure if I need standard tires, honestly. I can use the long champ. And then 35. Was there something twisty? No, there wasn't even anything twisty anyway. Besides the fast circuit, but... I feel like we could get away with using the long champ or the Pampero, maybe. Test pole, that can go there. You can go there. You can go there. You can go one mile and you can go on fast circuit. I believe all of these should be wins now, but we can watch through this round. This round might be actually, we might lose something interesting. I don't know. Might be kind of useful to see. The 695 wins here by 50 points. And then right here, the Yalpa will win against the 124 Sports Spider. And then here, Ghibli SS wins by 89 points. And this last race now, I believe, should be a win. The Longchamp should win. Even though the Ghibli SS has more MRA, we do have seven better handling. Okay, yep, we do win. All right, that's that round done. And now for round five... We need two city streets cars, one of which needs standard tires and probably two more standard tire cars. Anyway, we can go low RQ though and use the Punto Sporting as well. Yep, because they 332'd it. Then we will grab my standard tires, Alfa Romeo right there. And we will grab... Do I have another standard tire? I mean, I've got you. That could work. And then I ditch those two. Grab that and that maybe. Perhaps. I mean, that could win, that could win, that could win there and there. These all should be wins, theoretically, so we should be fine. Uh, 56 points right there in race one. Race two is not sketchy. Yeah, no, we're fine. Gets the Spider V6. I'm still missing that Spider V6. I haven't pulled it yet. New update's been out for a while now, and I still have yet to pull it. Yep, the Maserati Royale wins there with its standard tires. And then right here, round four. The Mangusta will win against the Ghibli Cup. Very nice. And this last race, we should be fine because ours is correctly tuned. Never mind, all right. Well, maybe our Italian challenge... I, I feel like it should be possible, though. We should be able to do the Italian challenge. We got to run that. Then we get rid of you. We've got 39 RQ. The only issue is it's raining. We could go 5185 on the hairpin. We do also have traction control and ABS. So that could potentially work. Oops, wait, I'm putting the cars in the wrong spot. There, 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 and there. All right, let's see. Maybe 5.185 can win that. That Spider V6 actually has very good looking stats from the looks of it for being an RQ34 tuned at 233. But we should be fine. Yep, the 0 to 60 helps us out, so. We are able to win all of them. Oops, I meant to press skip match. But yeah, that's basically it for this round. So I will be back with the next clip now for the next rounds. All right, here we go. I edited up this part because 
I forgot to record voice audio over it. I was just not in an area where I could whip out my phone and just start recording audio, so I chopped it up. These were just these five rounds, though. Nothing exciting really happened. It's just I had to switch up my hand a bunch because they kept switching back and forth from rain to drags to dry, twisty. So the hand just kept on getting to be switched up, and the video would have been like 30 minutes long if I included this part. So here it is, just nice and trimmed up. But don't worry, last 10 rounds are live recording, and of course, the pack is live, so you get the real authentic reaction. And so let's just get right on through this. It is pretty close, though, between the Maserati Shamal and the Miara. Been very close amounts of seconds, round 9 now. Had to switch it up again because we got some rain. Still use the Maserati Bora, though, and had to reset the hand, too. But caught some wins, Cadillac Sedan DeVille being used on that wet fat, oh, excuse me, wet fast circuit. 250 to zero again, and round 10 now using the Sylvia on the twisty circuit to get the job done. Karting circuit, everything, blah, blah, blah. We get the job done. Now let's move on over to live voice and stuff like that. All right, here we go now. Time to finish up this Italian challenge. 10 rounds to go. Let's just finish it off. So we got some drags right here, four drags. Well, one wet fast circuit four um dry drag strips so we can go with this and that that sets us up pretty nicely and then we can run a 54 so i will grab my visconti there it is perfect for the wet you can go on quarter one mile um fast circuit fast circuit or long drag fast circuit and there we go i heard the little money sound so i'll just skip right through it i'm sure you guys probably heard the little money sound too 254 to zero 1,000 cash, round 12 now. Okay, we still got the one mile, so we can still use that. We got the wet, so we can use that. Okay, then G-Force, I can probably go a bit lower in our queue. Same goes for fast circuit. I'll keep... I honestly don't know if the Shamal can win that, but we can go lower anyway with the others. So we'll go for the, um, yeah, a Barth race car. Then we'll go for the Shamal anyways, and we'll grab the... Mangusta? Yeah, we'll use the Mangusta. Mangusta has good MRA, I believe. It's like in the 70s, but it should be enough. So there, there, and there. This should work. Oh, I didn't hear the money sound, though. Okay, Mangusta wins, so that means something else loses. Which I'm honestly not sure what else does lose. Unless we lose this G-Force test, but I believe we shouldn't. Yeah, no, we don't. All right, so... I don't believe the Visconti loses here because we have that four-wheel drive advantage and it's rain, yeah. So this last race, Shamal versus Thema. No, okay, just the money sounds may be gone now. I was confused for a second because I'm like, there's no way we lost any of that if we won that first race. All right, we got a quarter mile drag now. That's where I can use that Lancia. This guy can go on slalom car park whatever that is okay drop those two grab the 40 rq lancia with the good zero to 60 and then we got 53 rq to grab a grippy boy so we'll grab you there we go that'll work there 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 uh car park and indoor karting these should all work out as wins i'll just skip the match on this one because i'm pretty confident so skip yep 250 to zero now round 14, uh, let's see what we got here. We can win that fast circuit. Ooh, that's the twisty circuit. This bad boy's got 115 MRA. Ooh, can we win that? Like, it's still stupid. Yeah, it's stupid light. We we should be fine. Okay, now I just need a karting circuit car. And I should probably go low on the RQ and other areas. So we can go 45. So why don't we go 124? And then that's the only thing though. We're missing something else. So we could go with the GT, I believe. Use the GT on karting. There we go. Fast circuit can be you. You can go there. Slalom and twisty. This should work, I believe. Shamal will win the first race against the Mangusta. Also, hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed yet in this part of the video. 2,000 subscribers will be a 2 million pack opening. So we want to get to 2 million very soon. A 500k pack opening is also dropping very soon, probably this weekend. So definitely subscribe for that. And also at 5 million subscribers, or no, 5,000 subscribers, there will be a 5 million pack opening. We really want to get to 5 million subscribers as fast as possible. So hopefully you guys can subscribe and we can get there even sooner. Okay, good. We do beat the 156 GTA Sports Wagon. 
because 500k pack openings will be coming one every week. So definitely subscribe so you can not miss out on those amazing pack openings. All right. Looks like we got to... No, we should be able to keep our slicks still. And that could win Twisty. That could win Monaco. So we just need two um, wet cars. So we can go for the Visconti, honestly. And then we just need something else with standards, which can be the Maserati Royale. Yeah, because we can win that, and Visconti can win that. You can win Twisty, Monaco, and Nero. And I believe all of these should be fine, but I might as well check. Yeah, 323 Royale wins there, so that's good. Then here, the 124 GT wins on the Twisty circuit. All right, very nice. Uh, Maserati Shamal wins right here. Yep, against the Countach. There we go. G-Force test. No, this is the Monaco Nero, but we do have faster 0 to 60, so we should be fine, even though they have better handling, which we are. And now for this last race, the Visconti definitely wins against the other Alfa Romeo 145. That's a 332. Yeah, okay. Because that is very poor stats for a car like that. Okay. We can win that, go low with a rare easily if we need to. Which looks like we might need to. So, yeah. We go low with the rare. That, I don't know if that'll work, honestly. But, <laughs> so, we ditch you. Five times Italy. We go low with the Pampero. So, we're using those. Then, we could also use... I don't honestly know if we can use that. Ooh! But we can use that. That should work. Okay. Then... We grab you, I believe. Fifth, yeah, something like this. This should work. Because you can win there, hopefully. You can win there, hopefully. And the other twos should be fine. So hopefully this can work. If not, I could switch out the Grand Cabrio for something else. Just maybe swap it around or something. But I believe all of these should work. So hopefully they do. We beat the 124 GT there. De Tommaso Pampero wins here. Then it's just down to these two drags. We should definitely win this one, I believe. Yep, we do. Okay, the Mido just does not have MRA. And now this one, also, we should win. We did not. Okay, the 3200 GT, GT Assetto Corsa does not have a sufficient amount of MRA. So we could go like that, switch it up a bit. Gran Cabrio might have a bit more MRA to beat the Lancia. Okay, and the 3,200 wins there. Skip. Yep, 250 to zero. There we go. Round 17 now. We got more RQ, but we should be fine anyways without more RQ. Yeah, we can win there. So now we can just get rid of you, and we need something for our fast circuit. 53 RQ. That gives us the Julia Veloce. Yep, which is plenty. More than enough. There and there. We can skip the match on this one. This round's definitely pretty easy. So there we go. 50 points and skip 250 to zero three rounds left now okay we got rain and we got a drag so we got a short drag so i can go low on our q if i need to i might as well just to have enough for the extra other rain cars we'll grab you for that drag and then we will go with visconti Ooh, 155 there we go and we got the two lancia deltas as well so i've got i've got plenty of options to use there and there all these should be easy wins because two deltas will definitely be helpful and skip match yep 250 to zero two races left now okay we got a short drag Ooh, and a pretty solid car in the hairpin road but we've got two more wets again so we can win that with probably just these two so we go with the two low rqs 4687 i can beat that with a shamal that drag is interesting and that hairpin is interesting, but I can drop those. Yeah, and we got we got plenty of RQ. All right, so we grab the Ghibli Cup. Then we're allowed to have 63, so we'll grab those two. Oops, I need a dragster. I forgot about that. 66. Um, you. Perfect. Actually, I don't know. I don't know how much MRA that Countach has, but we'll go for it. We'll give it a shot. We'll see if it works. I don't know how much MRA that Countach has, though. I know the Auto Delta has very good MRA, but Countach, I'm not too sure. Let's see. Okay, it's got good MRA. It's a rather low RQ for MRA like that, but looks like we just got to switch it up. 
So what if... Isn't this five times Italy? Oh, the Asima, the Alfa Romeo I was looking for, is from Switzerland. So that's why it's not there. 77 RQ though, now we'll grab the Pagani Zonda. We got plenty of RQ now to work with. There and there. Now we'll get our 250 to zero, maybe even some bonus points with the Zonda. Cause yeah, Julia Veloce wins there by 50. Skip, 257 to zero. And the last race now, race 20. Okay, so we got to use some four-wheel drive, that's for sure. That can win, that can win. Honestly, no, that's very lightweight. All right, so that probably will not work. What will work, though, is probably the Julia Veloce. Then I just need something with some standards. Or non-standards, but just good tires. Like you. Win, or actually, no, let's switch it up, play it a bit more safe like that. This should work, I believe. We can always just change stuff, though. We got plenty of RQ and cars to work with. So, 50 points there. G-Force test now against the Zonda HP Barchetta. Really would love to pull that car from this pack. That would be amazing. I'll drop a fuse into it immediately. Here we win with the GTA. Okay, race number four. Now, this is the only kind of interesting one. Because that alpha is light, but we do have yet the higher handling, so we do win. Alright, and this last race is a definite win, because we've got the four-wheel drive. So there we go. Italian Collection was good enough to win. I didn't really have much doubts, but Italian Carbon Fiber now. There are a lot of Ultra Rares that I'd actually be pretty happy with. Any new Epics as well, and of course a Legendary would be amazing. So let's see what we can get from it. Starting off with a 44 Alfa Romeo GTV, and the car we are getting is a... Quattroporte Sport GTS. That will be Fuse because I've already owned one, but not bad, I guess. Not bad. A little, little disappointing because it could have been a new Italian Ultra Rare, but sadly it was one I already owned, so tiny bit disappointing because see if we go to Ultra Rares, like Alfetta, we could have got the Giulietta, Levante Diesel, Hyena, um, I guess Quattroporte would have been kind of cool, the Guaira. Countach. So there would have been a lot of other cool options we could have got, but oh well. It was still a very nice challenge to have, so pretty cool to get a nice little carbon fiber from a fun little challenge like that. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of content, please hit the subscribe button and like the video and cool stuff like that. I'm Yellowfin. Thanks for watching. Join the Discord. Link in the description and goodbye.